In this video, we're going to go over how to release your back between your shoulder blades that may end in a satisfying pop or crack. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe here at Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. So if you're having a lot of tightness, stiffness in between your shoulder blades in the upper and middle back area and just are looking for a quick, convenient self-release, this is a video that you're going to want to watch. I'm going to show you two different methods, one that's going to use a foam roller and one that doesn't require any equipment other than just a folding chair. So definitely check out both methods and go with the one that you feel works the best for you. So let's get started with them and get that back feeling better right now. So we're going to start with the method that uses a foam roller. I'm using just an everyday basic 24 inch foam roller I got on Amazon. I think it was about $12. They're very inexpensive. You can get one at any place that has a sporting goods department like Walmart or uh, Meyer if you live here in Michigan in the Midwest. If you don't have one, invest in one. They're very, very beneficial. You can do a lot of stretches and exercises. So what I'm going to do first is loosen everything up in the upper back through what we call a modified wall angel. So how we're going to do this exercise is we're going to put the spine, especially our upper back, directly on this foam roller. Also, you're going to want to make sure that your head will be supported by this. It'll give you a little bit better of a posture. So let's get into position here. It can sometimes be a little bit tricky. So I'm just gonna work my way up to the point where my head is supported by the foam roller. Good. My spine is directly over the uh, foam roller. And then from there, I'm going to go into a bridge-like position. That means taking my butt up like this to the point where my knees, my hips, are kind of in a nice straight line. You'll actually get a nice lower back exercise with this one too. From there, I'm gonna take my arms. I'm going to go completely straight up towards the ceiling. And then from there, I'm just going to take them down until the back of my arms are roughly parallel with the floor. Already, you should start to feel a stretch into the chest, possibly even into the upper back. What I'm going to do is just bring my arms, my hands back like this. And I tell you what, it's a very good stretch already into the upper back. Hold this for a couple seconds, go back up towards the ceiling, just like this, and then just kind of repeat that process upwards to 10 times. You probably might already get a pop or a crack in the upper back if it is tight enough. But if we need a little bit more of a stretch, what we're going to do is instead of stopping right here, we're going to try to bring our elbows down as far as we're able to go. And I tell you what, this is a great stretch for the chest. And I'm just going to bring my arms back like that, get a really good stretch in there. Actually, I just got a really good pop. And I'm going to go back to the starting position. And again, just repeat that upwards to 10 times. So let's move on to the other part that's going to get a lot of release in the can probably give you that pop or crack that you're looking for. Since everything is now loosened up in the back, we're going to build a little bit more extension into the upper back between those shoulder blades with foam roller to get it to pop, crack, or self-release. What I'm going to do is start and make sure that my upper back is only going to be on this foam roller. So I'm going to position it where it's not on the low back. Make sure not to foam roll the lower back. It will actually cause discomfort. So I kind of position it right there. Let's get back into that bridge position just like this. What I'd like to do is put my arms up towards the ceiling and then I'm just going to use my legs to slowly go up and down the upper back. And I tell you what, I've already gotten like two cracks already. And I just like to go very, very slowly with it. If you find a spot that just is really tight that's pinpoint, you can stop over that spot and at that point take your arms backwards like this and it's going to build a lot more extension. What I'd like to do is lower my head also, and if you feel like it just needs just a little bit more to get it to go, just bring your arms back like that. I don't know if you guys heard it on the microphone, but I just got a really good release and pop uh, right there. So I just kind of go up and down with it, only to your comfort level, and I tell you what, that's probably going to get it to release very nicely. So let's go over the technique that doesn't require this foam roller. So we're going to start off with a wall angel stretch. This is very easy to do. All you need is a wall, just like the name implies. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my uh, back flat against a wall and also the back of my head against there. So you want nice upright posture while we do this. From there, what I'm going to do is very similar to what we did with the foam roller. I'm going to take my arms and I'm going to bring them all the way back. And if you struggle to bring them back, 
back, that is kind of normal with having a tight chest or muscles that just lack flexibility right now. Just go to your comfort level. But if you're able to bring the arms all the way flush against the wall, and you should already start to feel a very good stretch into the chest, possibly even between the shoulder blades of the back. From there, what we're going to do is just raise the arms up like this and try to keep the elbows flush against the wall as much as possible. And sometimes when you first do this, it is pretty tricky, but I just do that very, very slowly, just nice, even movements. And I tell you what, you're going to get a great stretch in between those shoulder blades, into the neck, into the shoulders, and this will also help with your posture. So give it a try. It will loosen everything up for the next part. For the extension part in our upper back, we're going to be using an everyday folding chair like they use in wrestling. I also put a towel on the top right here for a little bit extra comfort. So let's start off by sitting at the edge of the folding chair. We're going to want very good upright posture and we're going to position the spot that's locked up and needs to be self-released in the upper back directly over the back of the folding chair. Let's take our hands, let's place them at the back of the head right here, and what we're going to do is just lean back into the chair as much as we can to build initial tension. That's very important. We need as much tension as possible. Once we hit that spot, we press back into it, let's bring our elbows backwards as much as we're able to. And at that point, it should feel like it's almost ready to go. The movement for this one is we're going to do a passive stretch into the upper back to get that to self-release. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my head and upper back backwards very quickly while also winging my elbows back at the same time. So let me show you what I mean. Just like that. So it's a very quick backwards movement, winging the elbows back. And at that point, if you feel like it's ready to go, it's going to pop. But don't try to force this one. If you feel like it's locked up, it's very painful, it's not self-releasing, instead go get a professional adjustment by a chiropractor. They'll be able to help you out a lot more. So give both of these techniques a try. Go with the one that you feel helps you out the most, and I hope they give you a lot of relief and you're able to self-release the upper back in between the shoulder blades. If you liked the video and got a lot of relief, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.